today we will have a look on the fun audio LLM, especially cozy voice solutions published by Tony Speech Team and Alibaba Group, and they have quite a comprehensive explanation about the technology, uh, what they can do, and others. Uh, so <clears throat> no worries. All of the links and related information will be on the description of this video. That you can uh, can find later. So uh, that's the website. Uh, then, so uh, let's see first about the uh, uh, cozy voice. So cozy voice is like uh, advanced generative AI technologies where it can be input your text, voice, and it can clone your voice. Um, it can generate some audios, which depends on your on your preference and so on. And they have quite uh, detailed documentation on, on the GitHub page. Plus, they have uh, on uh, Hacking Face page as well. And on the Hacking uh, Hacking Face, they have the the separate audio uh, information for Sense Voice Small and other models as well. So. Um, let's uh, let's see the, the um, another another case. And uh, someone maybe want to try uh, everything together in one web application, something like that. They can try the Fun Audio LLM app, P and and run. For myself, I, I tried the uh, Cozy Voice, and uh, with Cozy Voice, try to run on. Uh, solution and, and play around. What we we will do uh, to run it? Let's uh, first we need to have some um, virtual machine. On the virtual machines, uh, let's create the on Alibaba Cloud. That's Alibaba Cloud uh, main page. And first, you need to log in. I will not go to the login and the register part. Just you can press the console. After you press console, you will have uh, this page. And for the uh, virtual machine, we can choose the Elastic Compute Service here. So basically, you go to this part and then choose the Elastic Compute Service. After then, you will have the open, you will open similar to this uh, page, which way you can choose your sources, your region, and then we need to press the create instance. So it will take some time. So in Singapore region, I can choose one my of the VPC zone. And then <clears throat> from the images, I can choose, as, let's say Ubuntu 20, but probably I need to, to choose instance type with GPU. And I think NVIDIA 100, or V100 should be able to run this model. So I choose and I can uh, choose the install GPU drivers. I don't want to install by myself. So just choose the latest one for everyone, which available. And for the disk size, we need a little bit bigger, probably 200 GB to download the models and related information. And then maybe you want to save the audios and, and so on. But but practice will be be putting your audio files to OSS, object storage and so on. And if you want a snapshot, you can choose snapshot, assign the public IP address in the future. It can be by bandwidth. Yes. and then uh, custom password you can set up password and then instance name and then just purchase it here purchase the order after this you will have similar machine as, as shown here as you can see I have created already for this purpose so uh, what we need we need to IP address here and by this IP address we can connect uh, with SSH to our service server sorry and uh, and work on this one or you can connect directly from the uh, console for me I, I prefer to work with 
uh, VS Code uh, and and uh, already put it there my machine. So <clears throat> I just go to the VS Code to show this machine. Here is my VS Code, and then uh, and uh, environment already prepared. But we will we will go one by one what I did here. So first is we back to the GitHub repository. As you can see, we need recursively clone the uh, repository because they use some other uh, dependence. So after we uh, clone, we can update all of the submodels, models, sorry. And then um, if you are using Conda, you can create the Conda, but I, I prefer use the pipe install. So I created with uh, the the Python environment, environment, uh, my own environment. As you can see, let me open the new environment. I have my environment, and and, uh, and creating is quite straightforward. Um, as I remember, it should be Python. If uh, you are first time installing, that need to put the, your your uh, Python version, version three minus m environment name bnv and bnv as you can see it's already created here so the next is is uh we need to install the related libraries uh, in ubuntu it already shows like we need to install socks libsocks dev and others <coughs> so uh, then we Download model. You can download it from snapshot download or download from the the kit. It's up to you. Uh, then we need to unzip our pre-trained models. Uh, then you can go to the with the basic usage. Um, probably these videos or this this code looks like quite uh, challenging or like a lot of things need to do and prepare your yeah, environment and if you don't want to do all of these st steps you can just work with uh, uh, the docker image and uh, here is actually for build uh, for the de deployment but if you want to build for test uh, basically i prepared here as a comment as you can see uh, instead of the running deployment um, environment i can run the python web UI right, uh, with the port and then using the GPU cards. So uh, we back to the, the, our case. So uh, you can you can test it by the command, as you can see. But uh, the guys, developers, they did a great job. They prepared the web UI. And let me open web UI here. Uh, so they prepared the web UI interface on, on browser, but I, I did it uh, some modification. I translated it to English, and and we can use this English version. So uh, what 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 will be be our command to run it? So basically, we just need to run on, uh, after. Uh, sorry before before run it we have to do one thing that's like install the all related libraries so we we have to install the requirements and uh, if you are in uh, located in china you can use uh, alien uh, repository but uh, feel free to use any repositories this is up to you so we install the all requirements then all the libraries is already prepared for us for us so then we can just Python, and, and here is uh, my application name is WebUI, so I can just uh, uh, run uh, do the Python run uh, Python WebUI and so Python WebUI and but I, I since I, I already run it, it's ongoing. We go we go to test it uh, here. Uh, let's see first uh, pre-trained model. So we have here voice. We can choose the, let's say English lady voice, and then I can generate this one. Generate audio. Now it should generate for me the audio with this text. 
this and pretend it voice uh, by using the English speaker with uh, ladies voice so uh, let me put microphone closer to the, the speakers I am the new generative voice model produced by the Tony Left Voice team offering a capital and natural voice synthesis capability cool Let's try the three second fast cloning and the idea is I need to put three second audio by my, myself and then uh, then it should clone any text which I want to say. Let's uh, hello hello how are you today we are talking about the cozy voice welcome to our webinar. So that's my roughly eight second and let's copy this text and put here then generate. Generate audio. And we can play. Anatolia, an alternative model with Anatolia Lab voice services capability. Not bad. Uh, so it should be three second text, and then maybe I need to cut. It, it requires three second text, so I cut the text and put here, and then I will generate the voice uh, audio, and let's play it and have a look is it close to my voice or not team offering a comfortable and natural voice synthesis capability i think it looks it looks my my voice so uh, like this dear our audience feel free to play it go around i i think you will enjoy it Let's see you in the next set